Hello, um, it's great to be with you today. This is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you for tuning into these videos today that I produce. I have over 400 of them. You can find me on many search engines. Just write the name in Raymond Mayfield, and I appreciate so much you listening to my videos. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time preparation and uh, and getting prepared and posting these videos every day. I hope you enjoy them. I'm going to talk about a sobering subject today. It's about David and Bathsheba, and it's found in Psalms 51, one of the accounts of it. It is associated with one of the hardest experiences of David's life. This is a summary of an affair that he had with Bathsheba. This is a very sobering account of David giving in to temptation and allowing the enemy to take a hold of his life. This is just one of the several Psalms that talks about this incident. For the account of David's sin and Nathan's rebuke the prophet, you can find it in 2 Samuel chapter 11 and mostly chapter 12 and verses 1 through 15. David's response to Nathan's rebuke saying, Thou art the man, you're the one that had committed this horrible incident. David's reply was, I have sinned against the Lord. That's one of the most serious things that you can do is to say that I have sinned against the Lord, 2 Samuel 12 and 13. In Psalms 51, David calls upon God for mercy in verse number one. In verse number two, he calls on God to wash me thoroughly and repeatedly from my iniquity and the guilt and cleanse me and make me wholly pure from my sin. You know, one of the things that's difficult about sin is living with guilt all the time. A person that's burdened down all the time with guilt, it will cause a tremendous psychological effect upon their life uh, and cause them to do a lot of different things. Uh, God help us to get rid of that guilt and come to the Lord and ask forgiveness. Uh, you know, God can wash us and make us uh, completely whole. In Psalm 51, God calls up on, uh, David calls up on God, rather, for mercy in verse number one. In verse number two, he calls on God to wash me thoroughly and repeatedly from my iniquities and uh, wash me pure from my sin. The months of agony that David suffered as a result of his guilt are expressing these words, my sin is ever before me. David had sinned against Bathsheba, Uriah, her husband, who he had killed, but against the nation he was called to rule, he sinned. But none of those sins were nearly as bad as what he did in verse number four, against you have I sinned, against God have I created this terrible sin. Psalms 51 and five says, behold, I was brought forth in the state of iniquity. My mother was sinful, when she conceived me, and I too am sinful, we're all born into sin, and we need to confess our sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And I quoted that one scripture from the Amplified Bible. And God desires truth from the inward parts, it says in this chapter. And David asked God to wash him from his sins. One of the great verses in the Bible is found in Psalms 51 and 10. And it says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right preserving and steadfast spirit within me. That should be the prayer for all us of us to pray today. God, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me so that I'll be able to do uh, the things that you want me to do. He goes on to say, cast me not away from your presence. Uh, and one of the most sobering thoughts is, uh, and take not your Holy Spirit away from me. Friends, I want to tell you when the Holy Spirit is not in your life, it's a sad thing. We need God in our life today. When we get saved, the Holy Spirit moves in. God help us to confess our sins and ask God for mercy. And then he goes on to say, then restore unto me the joy of my salvation so that I can teach transgressors the ways and the ways of God. I appreciate you listening to this video today and may God bless you and help us to follow this pattern today in Jesus name. Thank you.